Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem thirteen in chapter five. In this one, this is a little bit difficult because this is a car just pulls a tailor, and the mass for both both car and the tailor are given. And then tell you there is a force act on this car right by the ground. It's just a three point six times ten uh, power three newton. Because this one is a little bit tricky, it tell you the car acts this force against the ground. From Newton's third law, we can see the ground acts this force at the same magnitude to the car, but in the opposite directions. So we have this force. And the next one asks you the force uh, the car acts on this tail. And also you know the friction coefficient. It looks difficult, but let's do the force analysis. First thing we look at is this uh, combined unit. We consider the car and the tailor as the united one, okay? And then, because we can see the car connected to the tailor, this connection never break and never too loose. So that means the car and the tailor has acceleration, has the same acceleration at every point of the time. Do you agree? Yes. So we can find the write the equation for this one for the acceleration. And there we can see the force act on this united one, First one is the force ground to the car, right? And then the friction. We consider the friction by the tailor because there you can see it tells you the friction coefficient for the tailor. So we must consider the friction for the tailor. Equals the united one, the mass, total mass, times acceleration. In this one, right? And we see this acceleration A is the same for the car and also same for the tailor. Now we look at the tailor. And the tailor, we look at it. Uh, it must have the gravity, normal force, no problem. And also the force, the car act on the tailor and also the friction, right? So we can see, look at the y component. Uh, so the friction for this one is must be the coefficient, this one times the normal force. And also in look at the y component, it has the normal force minus the gravity equals zero. And then look at the horizontal component, it has the force, the car to the tailor minus the friction equals to the mass, see, the Taylor's mass times acceleration. These two acceleration are same. These two acceleration must be same. And then we can solve the problems, find the force, the car to the Taylor. So you can see, after we write these three equations, first one we can get the friction. After we get the friction, we, you see, we know this force, this force is given, so we can get the acceleration for the whole system. After we get the whole, the acceleration for the, for the whole system, we can see this acceleration is given. So this friction is given. So we can get the force, the car to the tailor very easily. Thank you.